Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. Today I have a bigger than usual haul for me and it is a mix of high-end, drugstore, Target, TJ Maxx, those kind of things. So let's get started so we don't drag it out too long. I've uh, told you all that I had placed an order with Michelle and um, I was very excited to do that. I've placed two orders with her and I'm getting ready to maybe go with a third round. You never know. Uh, anyway, I want to share with you some of the things I have. Now, a lot of the things that I purchased from her I actually have on my face today. And boy, I am sweating bullets today. It is not even warm out. Uh, it, it's just amazing what hormones can do to you. Oh, for those of you who have, who have absolutely no uh, hormonal symptoms, menopause symptoms. Oh, God bless you. You are so lucky. Anyway, let's get going. So, uh, there are a couple of items that I did purchase as just backup, and you've seen on YouTube a million times, so I'm just going to tell you uh, what I got. I did repurchase my Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff. I like this. It has just a really nice satin finish, and what was really nice about the Buff is I have a lot of blue in my upper eyelids and my lower, but for my upper eyelids, this cancels a lot of that blueness out so that my shadows actually hold true to color. So I really like this. I needed a um, refill of my Rich Vanilla Mineral Powder. I do not have this on today. I do have the Eye Basics on, um, but I don't have this on today. So the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder in Rich Vanilla. And then this is what I used on my cheeks today as my bronzer, sort of, and above on my forehead. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. I love this, and I wear the, the color Bronzed 01. I really love this. It gives a beautiful satin finish without any glitter. Glitter and me just don't get along. I have too many fine lines in my face, and I've just never been a glitter girl. You know, when my friends were going for the sparkly shoes, I never was. Although I do like a good rhinestone on the shoe. <laughs> anyway, that is what it looks like, and when you put it on your hand, you'll see that it really just has a very subtle satin finish. So I got another one of those. I really didn't need the, a new one yet, but I'm always afraid that Laura's going to say, you know what, Tammy likes that product, so let's discontinue it on her. So, like the Ritual. She needs to bring that one back. And I still love the Ritual. Okay, so then I wanted to try the loose form of this because I do have it in the press form and I love it. And it's the Meteorites. And I had tried to get this from Sephora Oh, forever and they were always sold out of it so I finally got it from Michelle and it's the number three it's the one that comes in the beautiful beautiful container it has a little powder puff to it and it's loose balls and this is number three and I just lightly patted this on certain areas of my face uh, and then I took my brush and just blended it it just leaves a really beautiful glow without any glitter it does have a hint of little 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 specks but if you are light-handed with it, it's a beautiful product. Okay, so let's get started on the other things. Now, I watched Michelle's video on this, and I loved it. I thought, oh my God, that is beautiful. So I right away had to order one from her, and this is the Fleer, Fluid Sheer in number 10 by Giorgio Armani, and it comes like this. And what I did today, you can use this product several ways. Uh, you could mix it in with a tinted moisturizer. You could wear it on its own. Um, I mixed it in with my Lingerie Lingerie de Peau. And this is their Invisible Skin Fusion Foundation with Sunscreen. I really like this foundation, but it's a had too light for me. Uh, I'm not someone who tans my body or tans my face, but it is still a tad too light for me. This is my problem with a lot of Galan uh, foundations, is they're really hard to color match. But this one here is a really nice formula, and I liked it a lot. And after seeing Michelle's video, I thought, oh, I'm going to get a bottle of that in the number 10, because as you can see, it's a light bronze. And I took two pumps of this, and one pump of this, and I blended it on my hand, and then took my beauty blender and applied it. Love, 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 love. Let me show this to you on my hand. I'm just going to put a drop of it on my hand, and you can see it's just a beautiful brown shade, and then when you rub it in, or you mix it in with your foundation, you're left with just a subtle glow with no, no glitter. It is just a beautiful satin finish. Love it. I'm going to get another color in this for winter. I truly am. Love it. Okay, so I got that. The next thing I got was, let's stay with the Galan. 
Joelle had sent me this pencil in Boys de Indies 42. It's by Guerlain, it's a roll-up lip pencil, and I really, really liked the color. I'll put it on my wrist. It seems to be able, easy to hold it up. But it's really nice. You can see it has a slight hint of peachy um, orange, but it's not. It's still a nude, but it's really nice with your muted uh, peach tone lipstick. Really, really a nice pencil. So I ordered another one because uh, I'm going to go through this quick. And I thought, well, I'll leave the new one here and take this one to Florida. So I got that. Okay, so the next item is the blush I'm wearing today. And this is the Fito Blush Eclat with Botanical Extracts by Sicily. And the color that I got is in Mango. It comes in a little pouch and a little zebra case. Look at that case, little zebra. And it is a two-tone blush. It has no shimmer in it, but it's two-tone so you can blend it and this is what I have on my cheeks today. I really love it. Just love it. So happy. You know, it's hard to find a very subtle peachy pink blush without it looking grandma-ish uh, or just being too much. So this one is really nice. Okay, the next items I'm going to talk about lip. I got a lot of lip glosses. The first one is by Galon, and this is their... Intense Color Shine Bare Lip Sensation Maxi Shine. And the color I got is Nahima Smack, and it is 940 is the color. This is what it looks like in the container. And I will put a swipe of it. It comes with a doe foot. And I will swipe it on my, it's really a beautiful coral peach. Really love it. And these are like butter. They really are beautiful. Ooh, I keep going in and out. It goes dark and light, dark and light. So I got that and I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> it feels really nice on the lips. It's very, very uh, balmy and smooth. There's nothing tacky or sticky about it, which I really like. Okay, the next one I got was by Sicily and it's the Fito Lip Gloss. And this is in number three, Rose. The only thing I don't like about this one is it comes with a brush and not a doe foot. I'm a doe foot person. Anyway, that is what the box will look like. It comes in a beautiful container. And again, this is called Rose. It comes with the brush, and I will put it on my wrist for you to see the color. And that is the color. It is a beautiful rose. Now, I do have to watch which liner I wear with this because if I wear the wrong liner, it will pull blue on me. But it truly is a true coral, coral rose. It's really beautiful, very beautiful. Okay, so the next one is a pink. Now, these are by Chantecaille. This is a line that I have never, ever been able to play with because... It's just not around me. So I was excited for this. And again, I gave Michelle like six different colors and said to her, pick the ones that, you know, are right for me. So she did. And this one here is their lip pencil. It's called the Lip Definer by Chantakai. It is a pencil. You sharpen it. And this color is natural. Okay, I'll put that on my wrist. And that is the color. And the lip gloss that I got to go with this one is called Lychee, and it is Chantecai. It is their Luminous Gloss, and this color is just, it's beautiful, just beautiful. comes in a doe foot, okay, and that is the color. And that's the color combination right there. It looks a little darker, but once you put them on, they blend beautiful to a very pink nude without too much blue. So this was really a good choice. Now the one I have on my lips right now is the Lip Liner in Coral by Chantecaille. And it is a true coral. And then I put this light, what I did is I filled my whole lip in with this lip pencil and then just touched my lips together. And then this is the gloss that I have on. It is called Mango by Chantecaille. And this is what it looks like. And on the wrist, it is just a beautiful peachy coral. 
And this is the look you get. Let me put a little more. It's beautiful. Again, not sticky. Ugh, just, and you know, so far I like when you put your liner on your whole lip and you're wearing gloss, you do, it does help to prevent them from bleeding a little bit. Um, I have heavy lip lines. I mean, you can't really see them on camera, but I have them. Anyway, let's get to the rest of this stuff. Okay, so then I bought one more pencil from uh, Michelle. I keep saying, I'm wanting to say Joelle. Um, and this is by Giorgio Armani. This pencil is divine. It is like butter. It's like silk. It is the smoothest lip liner I have ever used. And it is in the number six. It's a smooth silk lip pencil by Giorgio Armani. It is the truest orange red I have ever seen in a lip pencil. I have searched forever for this color and I now have it. So let me show you what that looks like. It may be too bright for many, but if you are someone that has been searching for a true red orange without a hint of blue to it, it's the Giorgio Armani number no. six silk pencil. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My arm's getting red now. Okay, so let's move on. So now I bought some, oh, I bought one more thing from Michelle, and I did show this in my skin, on my skincare video. Uh, it's a toner I've been using. Joelle actually sent me a bottle of this, and I love it, so I just bought another one for myself. It's the Abel Royale, and it is their Preparing Toner Firming Lift Smoothing. This is fabulous. I love it. It's a milky cleanser. It makes my skin feel fabulous, so I got another bottle of it. Love it. And I will continue to buy that, that one. Okay, so then uh, Colleen Rothschild was having a 20% off, so I decided to take advantage of that, and I bought the Dual Enzyme Polish. I actually have a sample Sunday video coming up using this product. It's very, very nice. So I went ahead and got that, and then I thought, because my friends, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to use the Rafisa either. Um, it was aggravating my rosacea, and there is a difference between uh, Retina-A bringing things to the surface and aggravating rosacea. Uh, I was having just problems where I have very, very mild rosacea in just my cheek, really high here. It's not all over my face. It's just in certain areas and the Rafisa was bringing it uh, out more and more and it was, um, I was starting to get all the little bumps you get with rosacea so it's not worth it for me. So I thought I would try the Colleen Rothschild retinal treatment. You know I've been using the La Roche-Posay retinal products with absolutely no product so I thought I'd give Colleen's a chance uh, using it with 20% off. I also had to replenish my SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. I went through that um, the last couple of months and I ordered that. Uh, I had, I think, I, I think they gave me a 20% off also. And then I thought I would try their um, retexturizing activator. It's kind of like their alpha, uh, uh, alpha hydroxy, where it you know exfoliates the skin. I thought I'd give it a try. I haven't even uh, opened it, or I'm not. I haven't tried it. I don't plan on trying it right now. But it was 20% uh, off, so I thought, why not? And that is the exfoliating activator. If any of you are using this, let me know what you think. And then I do have some hyperpigmentation. I have three spots on my chest. And I thought, well, I'm going to try their Fito Plus. It's a botanical gel for hyperpigmentation. I'll let you know how that goes. So that was 20% off. Then I had to stop in my little TJ Mackers. You know I have to stop there. And uh, many of you told me that you found the Dermatheputics a Hyaluronic Lift for the face. And I had never seen it for the face. So voila! They had it at my store, so I got the hyaluronic acid for the face because I do like the eyes, so I got it for the face. And this was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, it's the great time to go now when the kids are going back to school. From now until Christmas, they keep their supplies really uh, heavy. So, get over there. Then I thought I would try this oil. It's, a, it's called Beriti Oil, and it's an antioxidant facial treatment serum. And uh, I thought I would give it a try because it's really high in um, omegas. It's a Brazil oil. It comes from the Mauriche palm tree. It's the miracle tree in the Amazon. And it has antioxidants. It's high in vitamin A, beta carotene, even higher than, they say, even higher than uh, carrot seed oil. So you know that I love that. And um, 
it's rich in the essential fatty acids, which are very good for the skin. So I thought I would give it a try. Again, this is $9.99. They have a lot of face oils in there now, lots. And they're not expired. This one expires uh, 2015, okay? So you're good to go when you're buying them. Okay, went to TJ, went to Target. And Target has some new masks there, and I thought, well, I'll give these a try. And I'm going to do them in a sample Sunday. We're going to try them together. And it's the Noog face mask. I bought a hydrating one and an exfoliating one. They're like $2.50. So I'm going to do those in a sample Sunday. And then I bought, um, I was in the grocery store, and I was looking at the Almay because I've been wearing the Almay um eyeliner on the bottom and it's really nice so I thought I would try some of their uh, lip balms and I bought two of them I bought number which this one here is number 700 cantaloupe and the other one is apricot so let me show you what they look like they're very um, balmy uh, they're, they have a nice finish to them Actually, I bought one and went back and bought the other color. They have more pink blues, so I could only get the two. Comes on a doe foot, and it is just, it's a very subtle lip balm. But see how creamy and satiny it is? It feels just like that on your lips. It's not sticky. It has a little bit of a smell, but it kind of smells like vanilla cotton candy or something like that. It's not annoying because I'm super sensitive to scents. Uh, and the other one I got is... This one, it's a brighter orange, or coral, we'll say. Again, the doe foot. And this one here has a little more color. For those days, I like to throw these on when I'm walking Bindi, and uh, I don't have a heavily made up face, and I just want some color and a gloss. But they're very nice, very nice. And I think they were on sale in my grocery store for $4.99, but I think they're normally like $5.99. So take a look at the all May counter, too. And then last but not least, I have many people asking me what um, suntan lotions I use on my body. Now these may be hard for you to find. Uh, uh, I buy them from the professional hair store at the A&A &A Beauty if you're a licensed hairdresser and you live um, in the New York area, anywhere in the state. A&A uh, &A Beauty carries the Mirabella line. I think you could get this online. I uh, use the 30. I don't tan my body. Um, that's just a disaster waiting to happen when you're older. So I don't tan my body. Um, it's not been important to me for many years. I know we all look better tanned. We look more toned. You know, our legs, our muscles all look better. But it's, I guess it's just not that important to me. This is a very sheer lotion. Uh, it's for face and body, but I only use it on my body. And they are paraben-free. So that is why I really liked them, because they're paraben-free. And I have it in the 15 also. Sometimes I will put 15 on my legs just to get a little color. I know I'm contradicting myself, but every now and then the veins do get to me, so you know. Anyway, that is my haul today. I will list everything below. I will put all of Michelle's information below. And I will also put what's on my face below. Uh, my hair is melted sitting here. Can you see? Because I'm dying. I am dying. I'm so hot right now. So my hair has just gone... I have the lights on me. I have the air conditioner turned down really low, too, so that it gets cooler in here for me. But these last couple of days, hormone surge like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, let me know what you've recently purchased in a haul. I'd love to hear it. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here and just having fun. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. And most of all, my friends, be lovable. Yes, be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. Bisous.